Most babies are born healthy, but statistically, approximately 3% of all babies could have a birth defect of varied seriousness. These anomalies can be split into two groups, chromosomal and structural. NIPT, non-invasive prenatal testing, is a highly effective screening test for certain chromosomal anomalies such as Down syndrome, trisomy 21, as well as the rarer trisomy 18 and trisomy 13. How does the test work? Simple. Our clinician will take two blood samples from you, which will then be sent to a third-party laboratory. Results usually come back within five to seven working days. The mother's blood contains small fragments of the baby's DNA from the placenta, which is referred to as CFDNA, or cell-free DNA. These small fragments are used to estimate the probability of Down syndrome, trisomy 13 and trisomy 18, as well as detect the baby's gender, if you would like to know it. The test results are returned in the format of high or low chance for each condition, we will call you to deliver and interpret the results. Advantages of NIPT Early testing from 10 weeks High negative predictive value for T21 High detection rate for T21 Low false positive rate for T21 Optional gender reveal Among the limitations of NIPT Relative high cost Non-diagnostic cannot detect structural anomalies, failure to return a result in up to 3% of women. How do NIPT and ultrasound screening work together? NIPT is effective for screening three chromosomal anomalies. However, the vast majority of anomalies known to us are actually structural, about 85%. Ultrasound is highly effective at screening structural anomalies, which could be issues with the development of the baby's heart, brain and other organs. A subgroup of anomalies which is the most common birth defects are congenital heart defects. That's why at City Ultrasound we perform a fetal echocardiography, an examination of the baby's heart with every scan after 12 weeks. NIPT is available at City Ultrasound from 10 weeks along with a viability scan, which is a quick scan that can confirm the baby's heartbeat and date the pregnancy. That said, we recommend expecting mothers to perform the NIPT test at 12 to 14 weeks along with an early baby scan, which is our earlier version of the anomaly scan. By 12 weeks, your baby is the size of a plum, and amazingly, most of its structures have developed by now, giving our doctors an opportunity to perform a detailed examination of the baby's anatomy, as well as an early echocardiography. What is the combined test offered by the NHS? The combined test is another type of screening test done between 11 to 13 weeks, which includes an ultrasound scan and a blood test. We strongly advise to keep your scanning schedule with the NHS as it is very important for the continuity of your prenatal care. Again, this is not a diagnostic test and it was shown that its accuracy is inferior to NIPT. The scan offered at this stage is commonly referred to as the nuchal translucency, which is a measurement of the fluid found under the baby's neck and can indicate an increased chance of certain anomalies. Nuchal translucency is just one of our long checklist of structures that we examine during our early baby scan. What diagnostic tests are available? A big advantage of NIPT is that it is very safe. There are also diagnostic tests which you should be aware of, such as chorionic villus sampling, CVS and amniocentesis, which can give you a definite yes or no answer regarding certain anomalies including Down syndrome. However, these procedures are invasive and there is a small chance of 0.5 to 1% of miscarriage. 
Ultimately, we know that taking an NIPT is a big decision for many parents. That's why at the beginning of every NIPT appointment, our clinician will explain you about the test in detail. Answer all your questions before proceeding with the test, and if, for whatever reason, you change your mind, we will refund you the NIPT portion of the price.